Hello everyone. Welcome to this special interview session presented by Ace Engineering Academy. Today we are here with a shining star, Mr. Akshay Ganesh, who secured All India Rank 96 in Data Science and Artificial Intelligence paper. Hi, Akshay Ganesh. Hello, sir. Thank you for inviting me to this talk. First of all, on behalf of entire Ace Engineering Academy, we congratulate you on securing All India Rank 96 in Data Science and Artificial Intelligence paper. Thanks a lot, sir. It means a lot. Thank you. Uh, could you please explore a bit yourself, like where you have completed B Have you completed BTEC? No, sir. I am currently in my final year of course. A bit B. Very nice. You are right now in final year. Yes, sir. Okay. Could you please explore, like, uh, what is the source of motivation for writing gate exam? Uh, yes, yeah, sir. Sure. So in third year, I started. I decided to go for uh, writing gate examination, and I was not sure which stream to write. But then they had recently launched gate DA stream. And uh, so I thought, like, let's give it a try because mostly because my college placement scenarios were not very good. And also one of my seniors, he had cracked it that year in CSE and got all in rank 107. So yeah. I took inspiration from him and then I thought that let's give it a try. And with two months of preparation, I attempted gate 2024 in DHP. And then I thought like we cannot do like this. We need some proper guidance some proper preparation. So I thought of joining uh, coaching. And since I was in my final year, I had college project. I had, uh, I'm doing a specialization as well. So I was not, I couldn't go for a classroom lecture. So I thought I took a self-paced course from ACE online. Very and good. from there, I dedicated one year for preparation properly. I gave this year and I got all India and 96 in KDA 2025. Excellent. You have taken ACE self-paced course. And uh, you are secured all in ranks 96. Very excellent. And actually, I came to know that you came from Computer Science Engineering branch. But why didn't you write yes. exam in CSE? Have you written exam in GET CSE also? No, sir. I haven't. No, you haven't written. Uh, yes, sir. No, I haven't. The main reason is that uh, I, I had more inclination toward data science and artificial intelligence. Even though my bachelor's is in computer engineering, uh, I felt more interested and passionate in artificial intelligence field. So I completely ignored CSE and uh, I mean, TV. Very good. Data science and artificial intelligence. Excellent. How that ACE Engineering Academy self faced course is useful for achieving, achieving that All India Ranks 96 in GATE DA paper? Can you explore, like, what is a, yes. like, how, which subject and, and how you have learned everything from ACE Engineering Academy self paced course? Yes, sir. So I had uh, completely relied on ACE only for starting from the video lectures up to the test series part. So AS has provided very nice, excellent video lectures, and they have given multiple short tricks in the lecture videos itself and some additional topics, which enable me to solve questions in the examination very easily. Uh, other than this, the faculty were very open to doubts. So whenever I had some doubt, I could just post it online. And then the faculties used to uh, reply to it within a few hours as per, as per the availability. And also another thing I, which I'd like to highlight is their test series. So I also attempted their online test series. And I was uh, consistently getting top two, top three ranks in their test series as well. Very good. So uh, that helped me a lot in that. So completely end to end, I relied on ACE for my profession. Yeah, I would like to add a few words uh, in this discussion. Actually, nowadays in social media, there are a lot of uh, videos are circulating and a lot of material is available. Many students, they are collecting many, so many material from the many sources. Finally, they're getting confusion what to read and what we have to ignore and all. Is it correct, Akshay? Yes, 100%. So therefore, my sincere advice is, listeners, instead of reading multiple notes one time, it's better to read one notes multiple times. Okay? So because many rankers which I interviewed earlier also, so I came to know that they stick to only one notes. They repeated multiple times that notes. Runs, okay? Multiple revision of same notes is always better than collecting more material from the mere many sources. What do you say, Akshay? Is it correct? Yes, sir. Hundred percent. Like this is what the main problem was when I did on the in the third year itself. Like there were so many materials and there was yes. so I, I don't know whom to believe. And then uh, there was a problem of guide guidance also. But when you join ACE or some academy. Uh, then you will get complete end to end solution like from the lectures to the doubts to practice materials like the teachers they have been teaching for the past so many years so you can rely on them and they are producing rankers so I thought I would uh, believe them completely and uh, use ACE for my preparation. 
Correct. It is providing complete pipeline of your preparation. Yeah, exactly. Right? Yes, because some I'm starting students, Yes, some students are saying that sir, I attended some online courses somewhere, somewhere different places, but I didn't get some complete pipeline like that. Okay, but Ace New Academy is providing complete pipeline for the course. And actually, could you please uh, tell me, like in DA paper, you know, highest weightage goes to mathematics. Yes, sir. Especially yes, BTEC students, they will afraid of looking at mathematics part, correct? Yes, sir. So I want to take your more time for like asking doubts only in mathematics part only. Like, so how you started probability concept and statistics part? What is your yes, strategy for yes, computing sir. probability and statistics? Yes, sir. That's so my, like how I followed the, I first used to uh, watch the video lectures from ACE. Okay. And then uh, I, I also got uh, textbooks from ACE online. So that was another reason why I joined ACE. So ACE gives you textbooks and practice material as well. Okay. So after watching each uh, each section or each chapter, I used to solve all the questions from that particular chapter and then advance to the next topic. And like that, slowly, slowly, I completed prop stats then linear algebra and calculus and optimization. So all the three major subjects for mathematics I have completed by first watching video lectures and then uh, solving the material given by us. Very good. And then uh, other than that, uh, yes, sir. there was also test series, right? So there were subject-wise tests as well. So after solving all the questions, um, uh, like textual questions, I would use to attempt the subject-wise test series, then mm -hmm. it then and itself. So completely I used to finish one subject and then move to the next one. So you completely relied on ACE videos and ACE material for the mathematics, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. So, but actually in calculus, most of the students, they will have heard of calculus. Any special tricks or tips for calculus? Yes, sir. For calculus, I think for DA especially, we have, like, we don't have uh, mean value theorems, integration, etc. We just have differentiation, limits, yes. and some uh, basic optimization. So for that, uh, ACE videos are more than sufficient. I mean, more whatever the yes, and whatever concepts were taught in the lectures and whatever practice questions were given, they're more than sufficient to solve any question from calculus that was asked in the exam. Yeah, so very good. So, what about technical subjects like data structures and algorithms and Python programming? Correct. Yes. So how you prepared these subjects? Algorithm, data structures, and Python programming. So, data structures and algorithms. Uh, I. I so that it was very excellent like whatever videos you taught i used to take notes some important concepts uh, like uh hash maps with and then this uh, tree data structures completely i used to take notes yeah. and then i used to write and memorize some things some formulas and then practice then and itself so uh, like consistent practice it's sufficient for uh, tsa also i mean any subject you take you completely uh, watch the video lectures then practice properly and then give the test series. That was the regime which I followed for all the subjects. So for all the subjects, like that is also going for machine learning algorithms and then uh, artificial intelligence paper, correct? Yes, sir. Same. Machine learning, 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 artificial intelligence, DBMS, yes. and data analysis. Yeah. Yes, you have written many test series in this academy. Sometimes while solving questions differently, you may not get correct answers. Then usually students get demotivated. And then maybe you might be uh, did the same thing. Then how we get self motivated during that time? Suppose if you are expecting some marks in the test series, but you are not scoring that much amount of mark, then how you are tackling those emotions? So yes, uh, obviously nobody likes to get wrong answers. So uh, when I used to get wrong answers, I used to say myself that like you can just with a little bit of practice you can overcome this because mostly uh, from gate what I have seen is that pattern plays an important role. Even though DA, there are only two papers, but for CS, there have been multiple papers in the past. And there are some pattern of questions or some major concepts. If you learn them properly, then you, you will be able to solve majority of the questions. Yes. So what I used to do was uh, analyze my mistakes, even the correct question and correct questions which I did, and even the wrong ones, I used to analyze both so that I may learn some new short breaks or uh, uh, maybe uh, something which I'd missed while solving. So I used to, even though I didn't like to uh, like get less marks, I used to keep myself thinking that if I do this, maybe in the next exam, I'll get more marks. So I used to do all my mistakes. Uh, I'll correct all my mistakes and attempt again. And then eventually I started my marks getting increased. And then I I understood that whatever strategy I was following, which was correct. Good, excellent. Generally, students or listeners, 
So whenever students get less marks in the practice test paper, they are getting demotivated and they usually ask me the faculty like how you score more marks. So it's not like that how you score marks. It is compulsory need consistent practice trends. Okay. Suppose if you get any wrong answer for any particular question, you think it is an opportunity for learning something new before entering the exam hall itself. Okay. So as per my point of view, whenever we are solving questions, if you are not getting correct answer, so try to focus more on the topic and learn complete basics for the topic. Afterwards, again, resolve that question, definitely you get correct answer. But only the difference between rankers and normal people is rankers, they already practice all models before entering the exam hall and they are practicing one more time in the exam hall, the same model. Am I right, actually? Yes, sir. Yes. Exactly. You see, first time that question in the exam hall, it is very difficult to answer this question. So if you want to become ranker, it is compulsory. You have to see all types of different types of models before entering into the exam hall itself only. And you do one more time practice in the exam hall. Okay. So that's what I can say. And actually, one more thing I want to ask you, like, actually, for DA paper, we don't have sufficient PYQ questions, right? Previous year gate questions. Mm -hmm. Yes, right? Only and, uh, if you see algorithm data structures, CAC branch, they are having so many previous year gate questions starting from 1987 to up to 2024 papers, correct? Yes, yes. So did yes. you cover all those PYQ questions in algorithm data structures and including yes, math? Sir, I, yes, sir. Uh, like since there was no other uh, PYQs for uh, gate, I used to rely on CAC for mathematics, uh, for DSA, CAC, and yes. for sometimes e e easy paper also their mathematics questions related Very to calculus good. and uh, prop steps. So I used to practice those as well. It's all, uh, and more of, uh, moreover, all these questions, they are there in the practice book as well, like the, which ACE is giving now. In that uh, practice book, they have included questions from other streams as well. CAC, EEDC, uh, instrumentation, the mathematics part, and DSA as well. So yeah, mm -hmm. I, I solved most, most of the PYQs I solved. It is excellent idea, listeners. So even though you belong to DA or CAC, so definitely you have to collect PYQ questions from other branches like EC, Triple E, Mechanical, which are coming from the linear algebra, probability, statistic part. So because most of the time they question, those questions will be repeated. Is it correct, Akshay? Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, sir. And on that exam day, definitely a lot of pressure is there for the students. Okay. How did you manage that day? Yes, sir. Definitely. Uh, one thing I'd like to mention is that... Uh, like given giving multiple test series had helped me a lot so it was just like another test series for me that's what i was thinking and then i attempted the exam even though i had a bit of time management issues that day even which i didn't have in the test series but still because my preparation was so good i still got uh, all in direct 96 so if i had managed my time a little better so i could have gotten even better like under 10 or something but the yeah, time management is definitely very important in the exam so, like you you would have covered everything, but uh, on time management, if you mess it up, then your rank will fall. <laughs> yeah. Very nice. So you assume that it is another test exam, test test series exam only, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So very nice. Another, just like another test series. Good. So what would you like to suggest for Gate Twenty Twenty Six aspirants? Okay. So I'd like to suggest first of all is to take a coaching. If you are really serious about uh, getting a good rank, take a coaching. Yes. Uh, going randomly searching different topics from different websites won't help in the long run. Uh, second is to like just like I mentioned, watch the video lectures first. Uh, solve all the questions related to that. Give subject wise test series, and then uh, one important part which I think many people neglect is revision. Yes. So you cannot revise just before one week or two week of the exam. You have to revise at least two months before you have to cover the syllabus and properly revise each and everything because only then whatever you learned will be consolidated. Then after revision, you can give the test series. And if you follow this uh, for the last two months, revision test series, revision test series, then you'll be good to go. Uh, actually, did you prepare any short notes for revision? Because uh, uh, revising all subjects in the short period of span of time, it is very difficult. Did you prepare any short notes like that? Uh, yes, sir. Whichever important topics, which I felt like, uh, like I might, I might forget, then I used to write it down. And weekly, I used to do some revision. Like which are subject I'm studying. So by the end of this course, I had probably revised the entire syllabus three times, I guess. So uh, syllabus, yeah, syllabus was completely done hundred percent by age. And I had a re I had a revision as well. So the only thing which could go wrong is the time management. Everything else is then covered. Time management and, and that's consistent on. preparation. 
Yes, sir. Exactly. So nice. So what is your future goal, Akshay? What would you like to see after five years? Yes, sir. Currently, I am focusing to do masters from from IIT or ISC, and then join industry for now, and maybe do PhD some years down the line. Nice. Very good. We wish you all the best and thanks for sparing your good time and giving good insights and uh, strategies for the GATE 2026 aspirants. Okay. So we once again congratulating you on securing 96 in GATE DA paper. Thank you so much. Thank Ashish. you. Sir. Thanks a lot, sir. Thank you.